Hi, I'm Jacqueline Hansen. Here's a look at some of our biggest business stories of the week. Oil sands operations that were shut down to wait out the wildfire in Alberta are expected to be up and running again soon. You'll see us getting back um, some of the operations uh, north very quickly. In fact, some uh, were able to keep operating. And then it gets a little bit more tougher as we get down towards uh, Fort McMurray. Um, but all of those plants are in a position where they can uh, start, to, uh, start to move into the next phase. So you'll see us uh, starting to move into those plans over the next few weeks. Apple Pay has won over Canada's big banks. Clients of the Big Five who own iPhones with the payment technology will finally be able to use them. The service has technically been available in Canada since last year, but banks seemed reluctant to sign on. I don't believe that the Canadian banks uh, should be feel threatened by Apple uh, getting into this business. So this is one more, um, if you will, uh, nail in the coffin for cash. Classic Canadians, according to a new survey, are polite-natured group of consumers complain online about businesses and services far less than the global average. And that could actually be bad for business. If companies don't know what's broken, they can't fix it. If you think about Canadians, you know, we're the, we're the ones that will quietly eat that, uh, that overcooked steak at a restaurant and not send it back. For all of these stories and more, go to cbc.ca slash business and join us on Twitter at CBC Business. I'm Jacqueline Hansen. See you in seven days.